All right, so just so this example makes a little bit more sense, we'll say that we have some store, what we're selling, who knows right now, but we have some store and we want an app to keep track of all of our products. So, you know, I just figured if we have some background information, that'll probably be a little bit easier to follow. So what we need now is if you go in your Java directory and expand your first package, right click, new, new Java class. So make a class called products and hit OK. Now how we're going to set this up is like this. Each row in that database file that we save, it needs to be able to be represented by an object through Java. So then we can work with it in our code. You rearrange this. All right. So whenever you have your table set up, you're going to have different columns. So we're, we'll have like a column for ID number of the product and also the product name. It'll be a really simple table. So therefore, if we want to represent it through a Java object, that object needs those two properties, an ID number and a product. So for every column, you need an additional property. Pretty simple once you see what's going on. So let me tighten this up. And the first thing that I want to do is just add those properties. So private int underscore ID. Now always name you know whenever you have a table you have that primary key primary ID whenever you reference it in Java make sure that you call it underscore ID and Android depends on this underscore ID for a lot of things so don't get like too creative with the names now of course this is the ID of each product another thing we want to do is we want to add another variable for product name so again, this is going to be a really simple example. If later on you ever want to add like the color of the product or the type, category, size, whatever, you can just add more variables, which will essentially add more properties to your object. But for right now, just a simple example. Now after this, what I want to do is I want to add a constructor. So whenever we create an object, what's going to happen is we're going to allow the user to type in a name so therefore we make a constructor with the product name being passed in whatever they type in like tuna or something and then we'll just give it an ID number dynamically it'll be auto increment so the first one will always be zero next one two or excuse me zero one two three so on and so forth so actually since this is just being passed in we don't need that underscore alright so again all of our code in the constructor all this is going to do is essentially they're going to pass in a product name and it's going to set this property right here of the object equal to whatever name they passed in simple enough now the only thing I want this class to be able to do is be able to work with that product object so this is going to be the easiest thing you ever learn if you hit all insert you just need to add all your setters and of course a setter allows you to give that object one of these properties so we can give it an ID or we can give it a product name that's what setters do and your getter so alt insert and of course whenever we want to retrieve say we're trying to print out the product name or get the ID for something that's what the getters do and this is it ladies and gentlemen that's all I want this product class to be able to do so we can create new products and then we can either give them IDs or names or get their IDs and names pretty simple stuff